from the Good morning, everyone, from the sports desk. The St. Louis Rams visited Big D to play the Dallas Cowboys. Both the Rams and the Cowboys came into yesterday's act at 1-1. One one. First quarter, Tony Romo finds Des Bryant in the end zone for a two-yard TD pass, and that gave the Cowboys an early 7-0 lead. Second quarter, Cowboys in the red zone again as DeMarco Murray comes around the end, and he punches it in, and that would make it 17-0 Cowboys. In the third quarter, as you can tell, by the highlight, this one was all Cowboys as Tony Romo throws a 24-yard pass to rookie tight end Gavin Escobar, and that made it 24-0. Later in the third, Rams had a fourth and goal, and Sam Bradford finds Austin Pettis for their lone score of the game, 24-7 Dallas. Rough day for Bradford as he was sacked six times, and Dallas wins it 31-7. The St. Louis Cardinals have clinched a playoff spot, but are looking to claim the Central Division title over the Reds and Pirates. After last night's action, the Cards have a two-game lead in the division with only six games to play. We head out to Miller Park, where the Cardinals were taking on the Brewers. Bottom second Brewers, Ioki gets his 17th double of the year, and that would allow Martin Marlando. He comes around to score, giving the Brewers a 3-0 lead. Top third, Brewers still up, and Matt Carpenter, that ball's got places to be. It's out of here. His 11th home run on the year, Brewers lead 4-1. to one. Top six, base is loaded, and Shane Robinson will fly out here, but Yadier Molina tags it from third and is able to score, and the cards now trail 4-2. to two. Still in the top six, Joe Kelly would get a sack fly as well as David Freeze would score. And St. Louis only trails now by one run, but that would not be enough as the Brewers would go on to win by a score of six to four. The American card are still up for grabs with the Kansas City Royals hoping to get in. Yesterday, the Royals took on the Rangers in a game that for both teams had playoff implications. A beautiful, we head to the K, it was a beautiful afternoon in Kansas City for the Royals' final home game of the season. Ned Yost and his squad looking for their 82nd win. Top second, Rangers, Craig Gentry hits it, but Justin Maxwell flashing some letter with a nice grab to end the inning. Top third, no score. Texas' David Murphy hits a shot directly off pitcher James Shields' right elbow. Shields still manages to get the out, and here Shields would get checked out, and he would stay in the game. Shields gave up no runs, six hits, and eight strong innings. Top ninth, still no score. Adrian Beltre, he flies out to left, and Alex Gordon makes the routine grab, but here he guns down the Rangers' Royas as he makes a bad decision to go to third, and that would send us into extra innings where Matt, Justin Maxwell is at the plate, base is loaded, and he hits a walk-off grand slam to give the KC a 4-0 to zero win in extra innings. The Royals guaranteed themselves a winning season with that for the first time since 2003. Missouri football is coming off their big win against Indiana. For much of the non-conference, Schedule, it has been easy going for the Tigers and getting three wins to start the season. The non-conference part of the schedule continues this week as the Tigers take on Arkansas State at Faroe Field. As we enter week five of the college football season, Mizzou is one of only three SEC teams not to have played a conference game, along with Arkansas and Kentucky. After this weekend, Mizzou will be the only team in the conference not to have faced an SEC opponent. The Tigers open their SEC conference schedule against Fandy in Nashville on October 5th. As for the SEC as a whole, they're well represented in this week's AP poll. Seven teams were in the top 25. Alabama stays atop. LSU remained at number six after a win over Auburn. And Georgia and Texas A&M rounded out the top 10 after easy out-of-conference wins. South Carolina came in at 12 this week, and Florida dropped one spot despite a win over Tennessee. And Ole Miss finished it off coming in at 21. And that's all for sports this morning.